In this tutorial, we're going to add a click to call button to Elementor without using any plugins. And in fact, what I show you to do in this tutorial, you can do in Elementor, Divi, Brizzy, Beaver Builder, any page builder you want. Any place you can add a link, you can have click to call without using a plugin. If you have any comments throughout this video, please leave them down in the comment section down below. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you earn more for yourself, for your business, and for your customers. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And we're getting started on this video right now. And just as a quick preview of what we're gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to add a click to call button to this website. We're gonna change this button right here from a book now to a click to call without using any additional plugins. This website's built using Elementor, but you can do this with any page builder and I'm going to show you how to switch out the book now button and the call button depending on whether your visitors are using a desktop or mobile devices I'm going to show you how to add a just an icon in the bottom corner and how that can scroll with the visitor as I scroll down the page and make that icon click to call then I will show you how to add a bar along the bottom of the page and the icon and the text in the bar will be click to call as well so let's get started this is the website we're going to add click to call to it's just an Elementor template and it's for some kind of vacation rental business and it's a great spot to have a click to call. And I'm gonna show you two ways to do this. The first one is gonna be a static click to call. What I mean by that is it's gonna be in one spot and it's not gonna move when the page moves. For example, this button right here. That button does not move. We can turn this into a click to call button really easily. No plugins required. You can do it with any page builder. It doesn't have to be Elementor. And we can even do it with the free version of Elementor. And the second thing I'll show you is how to have the click to call button follow you down the page. Most commonly you see this on mobile devices where the footer follows you down, or there's a little phone icon in the bottom corner, either left or right, usually on the right, and it follows you down the page. Someone clicks on it and they can call you. And having the button follow you down the page requires Elementor Pro because those settings that we need aren't in Elementor Free. We're gonna show you how to build both of those, starting with the free one. So let's head into Edit with Elementor. I'm gonna control click to open the editor in a new tab. I'm gonna click on this button and I'm gonna change this from book a room to call us now. That sounds pretty awesome. Call us now, take that off. Change this icon to a phone icon. I did an update over here though. Let's see if I, we uh, update it. It then updates. Let's refresh. There. Now it updated to a phone. And all we have to do to make this a click to call is in the link field at TEL colon and a phone number. I'm gonna do a fake one. Well, I don't know if it's fake, it might be a real one, just not a real one I know about. You can add dashes where appropriate. You might often see dashes in these areas for phone numbers. You can add them there if you want to. You don't have to. You can also add a country code at the very beginning. So if we did plus one, that'd be the country code for North America. You can also add an extension. So you'd add a P at the end, and then whatever the extension number is, say 345. And this will call this line with the extension 345. And you can even make it use Skype for the phone call. If we change this to call to, it will use Skype instead of the telephone. Usually this would be on mobile devices where you see these buttons. So call to will open the Skype app on mobile phones and tell we'll use the telephone on mobile phones. Let's click on update. Let's go back out here to the website, refresh. Now we have our button here. If I click on this, it shows here, make a call from FaceTime. We can do it on desktop on my computer. Most computers don't have this functionality, but it's possible with my computer here. And most commonly you see this on mobile phones. So if you wanted to have this appear just on mobile, what you could do is duplicate this Change this first one back to what it was. Let's say book now. And I don't know what the icon name is of the original arrows. Just use this one. And we can change this to be a link to go somewhere, a specific booking page or something. And then this requires Elementor Pro, what I'm doing right now. We can change the responsiveness so we hide this book now button on tablet and mobile, and we hide the call us now button on desktop. Then we save it. Now if I come back out here, when I'm on desktop, I have the book now button. Now if I spoof a mobile phone by right clicking, going to inspect, clicking on mobile, we have the call us now button appearing. Click on that, 
and it wants to call. So that's how we do that. And the first part was just a static call now button. You can use the free version of Elementor to have the button switch out. You have to use the paid version and other page builders can do the exact same thing as long as you can add a link where you can add this code, not even really code, but these characters, T-E-L colon and then the phone number, as long as you can add that to a link, you can use any page builder you want or even straight up HTML you can use if you want to. Now I'm gonna add a little click to call icon that follows the visitor down the page and I'm gonna add it at the very bottom of the page. Let's just find the icon here first. Icon and let's add it right there. Let's change this to a phone or you can have whatever kind of icon you want. Phone makes the most sense I think. The view I'm gonna to change to stacked. The link, I'm gonna do the same thing, T-E-L colon, and then a phone number. We can use the same one we had before. And now the click to call functionality is done, but we don't want it to be placed right here and just sitting there the whole time. So I'm gonna to go to advanced, I'm going to go to custom positioning. This is an Elementor Pro feature only. Change the position to fixed, change the width to inline, change the horizontal orientation to the right, vertical orientation to the bottom, add an offset of 10 pixels for the horizontal, and then we're done. We have it right down there. Easy peasy. Now I'll click on update. Come back out to the front. We have our button here, and it scrolls down with us. If you click on it, it wants to call somebody. And I have it currently appearing on the desktop because I'm using the desktop version, but you do the same thing that we did before where we go to responsiveness hide on desktop if you don't want it to show on desktop. And now this is only on this page. You could copy this element to all other pages, but if you want it to be throughout your site, you're gonna to wanna to build it as a footer template. So we're gonna delete this, update. I'm gonna to exit to dashboard, and we're gonna build a footer template under Elementor templates, theme builder, go to footer, go to add new, make this click to call as the name, create template. I'm not gonna use a template, just gonna add a section, full width. Do the same thing I just did. I could have copied that, what we had there. Copy it, add the phone icon, and make the link a phone number. Make the view stacked. The custom positioning, width, inline, uh, position, vertical line to the bottom, position fixed, horizontal to the right, vertical to the bottom, offset of 10. And now we have it in the corner over here. In fact, I'm gonna change the width back to default. So it goes along the whole width of the bottom of the page and I will go back to content and align it to the right. So it's on the right hand side. I'm gonna click on publish going to add a condition and it's going to be conditioned to be up here on the entire site. Save and close. Let's change the color of this actually so we can see that it's a different one. Secondary color of, okay not the secondary, primary color of green. Update. Boom. Come out here. Refresh. Now we have the green button. Click on it. Call icon or call system appears. And we have, this is the footer that's on every page of the website. And we have it down in the bottom right corner. Another way we can do this is we can have the bar that goes along the bottom. And to do that, we have to work on the section settings. So I'm gonna change the custom positioning back to the normal settings for the phone. And then I'll go into the section settings, go to advanced, go to motion effects and change it sticky to bottom. Now it's gonna to stick to the bottom of the page, the footer. Gonna add a background color. Let's make it just uh, green. Let's center this phone. Let's add a headline. And let's just make the text call us today. Make it white and then center it. Gonna move the phone icon above it. And it's not the prettiest, but it works. Let's make sure we still have 
telephone on that section. We could have the telephone appear on here as well, or sorry, the click to call on the actual text as well, and then click on update, and then come back out here and refresh. And now we have this footer that follows us everywhere on the bottom. We can click on the phone and we have the call options appear. We can click on the text and we have the call options appear. And you can obviously shrink this down and make it appear only on mobile and only on tablets. Depends on how you want to do it, but that is the functionality end of it. You need Elementor Pro to have the sticky footer. You need Elementor Pro to have the custom positioning for just the phone icon. And you can do with Elementor Free, what we did up here with the Book Now, Call Us Now button that was here earlier. But if you want to switch it, if you want to have the Book Now on desktop and the Call Us Now on mobile, then you need Elementor Pro for that switch. And like I said earlier, any page builder or any software that you can add this to, you can have a click to call button without using a plugin. It's built right into the HTML standard. So that's how it works. I hope this video helps you. If you haven't done so yet, please make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And then check out this video up here, which shows you how to build a custom login and registration page on the front end using Elementor and a simple free plugin. And then check out this video down here, which shows you how to make your website super fast using WP Rocket. My name is Bjorn Allpass in WP Learning Lab. And until next time, keep crushing it. And I will see you in the next video.